In this chapter, let's discuss about the text tool. The text tool is shown on the toolbar with the letter T. This can also be selected using the letter T on the keyboard. Let's now select this tool. After selecting the tool, click on a portion of the stage where you wish to type your particular text. This indicates the type area. Now you can type in your content. If you notice, with the typing of your text, you can find that the text box increases its size. You can adjust the size of your text box by clicking on any of the nodes. Click and drag your mouse to increase the length of the particular box. Similarly, you can increase the left side of the box by clicking and dragging your mouse. Now to move the position of this particular text, move the mouse pointer to the edge of the particular box. Now when the mouse pointer turns to this particular sign, click and drag your mouse. You can move the text to any part of your document. If you look at the properties window, you can find the various properties of the text tool. Here you can choose the style of the text, whether it is a static text, dynamic text or an input text. Here you can choose the font of your text. All the fonts that are installed on your computer will be shown over here. Here you can find the preview of the particular text. Now here, once the font is selected, it would automatically get applied on your type text. Here you can choose the font size. In this case, if you notice, you can find that the second text have come onto the second line. To make it onto the single line, click at the corner of the particular text box and drag your mouse. The letter spacing can be adjusted using this particular option. To apply the letter spacing, select the text by clicking at the end and by dragging your mouse towards the beginning of the particular text. After then, click over here and either increase your particular text spacing or you may decrease the text spacing. By clicking over here, you can choose the position of the particular text. You can choose from normal, superscript or the subscript. Let's try choosing superscript. Now here you can find that the text have moved onto the top of the text box. If you choose subscript, the text will move to the bottom of the text box. Let's choose normal. You can choose the font color of the text by clicking over here. If you want to add more colors, click on this particular icon. This would open the color picker window. From here, you can choose various colors. After choosing the color, click on OK. You can convert your text into italics by clicking on italics icon. If you want to convert it into bold, click on bold. Here you can find the various alignment options. If you click on left alignment, the text would automatically get aligned onto the left side of the margin. If you click on the central alignment, the text would automatically align itself to the center. And if you choose right alignment, the text would get aligned onto the right. Here you can find the justify option, which will justify all the characters of the text. You can edit your formatting options by clicking on the edit format options. This would open a format options window. Here you can increase or decrease your indent value. You can increase or decrease the line spacing. You can adjust the position of the particular text to the left margin. And you can adjust the position of the text to the right margin. After customizing your options, click on OK. Here, this option would show you the font rendering method. That is, you can choose a default device fonts or 
the bitmap text which has no anti-aliasing property that is your text would not have any kind of a smoothing effect or any special effects if you choose anti-alias for animation the text would be smooth and it would be prepared for the animation purpose if you choose anti-alias for readability the text would be prepared with a smoothing effect which would be intended for reading and if you choose custom anti-alias it would open a custom anti-aliasing dialog box over here you can mention the thickness of your text the sharpness of the text and here you can find the parameters of your action script that is inside cutoff value will be mentioned over here and the outside cutoff value would be mentioned over here after making the adjustments click on OK if you enable the auto kerning option the kerning or the letter spacing between the text would be automatically arranged here you can find the width the X coordinate position the Y coordinates position and the height of the particular text you can make your text selectable by clicking on the selectable option and you can type in a URL link over here that is if you want a person to click on the particular text and if you want another document to open up you can mention a URL link over here which can either directly link to the internet or you can have a location on your hard drive onto which if you click this particular link it would open up the other document you can also create a hyperlink within the document you can confine the typing of the text to a region for that select the text tool and then click and drag your mouse to create a shape here if you notice you can find that a text box is now created here if you notice you can find that this text box can be increased in size only on the horizontal basis that is if you try to increase it downwards it won't be possible if you wish to create a larger box which can be extended both horizontally and vertically click on this particular option on the properties window and choose dynamic text after that click and drag your mouse on the particular scene to create the text box here you can find that a text box is now created which can be used to increase the size of the particular box another important point that you would notice on this particular text box is that if you try typing the content in the text box with the increase in the content the text box will automatically increase its size that is let's now try typing content within this text box here you can find that the text box is automatically increasing its size here you can find the properties of your dynamic text that is here you can find the height value to be highlighted if you wish you can change the height of the particular text and here you can find the line type under the line type you can choose single line multi-line option or a multi-line no wrap option here you can find a paragraph being typed let's now discuss on how to format this particular paragraph first let's start with the alignment option you can align this particular paragraph either to the left margin right margin centrally or you can justify the particular paragraph it would be neat and would appear much better if you can justify the particular paragraph therefore let's first select the text after that click on justify with the justify option being active you can find that the spacing between the words have been adjusted to adjust the particular paragraph if you select the text and then click on the left alignment you can find that the beginning of the particular line have got aligned onto the left side of the margin similarly if you click on right alignment the ending of the particular line would get aligned onto the right side of the margin let's choose the text and then click on justify after that if you wish to change the font of the particular text 
click on the font and choose a font from here. After that, if you want to increase the font size, click over here and choose a size from here. Now to make it look like a paragraph, let's click at the beginning of the particular word computer and press spacebar to adjust the spacing between the first word and the margin. You can change the orientation of the text by clicking on this icon. Here you can find three options. The first one is the horizontal option which would horizontally align your text. The next option is the vertical left to right. Here you can find that the text is now arranged vertically from left to right. With this option active you can find another option being added to your properties window that is the rotation option. If you click on the rotation icon the text would be rotated. Now the text is rotated clockwise. Now it is again rotated. In this way you can rotate the particular text. Now if you click over here and choose vertical right to left the text would be aligned vertically where the text would start from right and will move on to left. Here too you will find the rotation option. The other options of formatting the particular text would be similar to the ones which we would be using in Word or Excel. You can select a particular portion of the text and press delete to remove that particular portion. Now if you want to bring back the deleted text press Ctrl plus Z on the keyboard. Now if you want to cut this particular portion select the text right click and choose cut and if you want to copy use copy option and to paste the copied text use paste option. Now if you want to select all the text within this paragraph choose select all. In flash you also have an option to select the text and right click and choose check spelling. Here if you want to check the whole spelling right from the beginning click on yes that is here you can find a dialog box which says flash has reached the end of the document. Do you want to continue checking from the start of the document? Now if you press yes the flash would check that whole document right from the beginning for any spelling mistakes. Now the second dialog box says the spelling check is completed. You can choose the selection tool and choose any of the text from here. And you can move this text by clicking and dragging your mouse. You can also use the transform tool on the text box. That is if you want to transform this particular text click on the transform tool which would change the text box to a transform box. After that click and drag your mouse to increase the size of the text box. If you want to rotate click over here and then rotate the text box. The text tool cannot be selected partially nor can it be erased using the eraser tool. That is you won't be able to use the selection tool and select a portion of the text. And if you try using the eraser tool you can find that the eraser tool will not get applied on the text. You won't be able to create a stroke using the ink bottle tool on your text nor will you be able to apply gradient to the text. Now if you try using the brush tool on this particular text you will find that the paint tool is not getting applied on the text. You can separate the painting and the text by clicking and dragging your mouse. Now if you try creating a rectangle, you will find the rectangle is overlaying the text. Now select the selection tool, right click on the rectangle and choose arrange. Over here choose send to back. This would send the rectangle shape behind the text. You can select the rectangle shape or the paragraph separately by clicking on them. Now the paragraph is selected. If you want to select the rectangle shape click on the rectangle. 
Now you can find that the rectangle shape is selected and you could move the particular shape. Now if you want to edit an already typed text, select the text and click on modify and choose break apart or use Control plus B on the keyboard. Here if you notice you can find that all the letters of the particular text have got broken apart. Now you can individually edit these letters. You can click at any of the nodes and drag the mouse to increase the size of the text box. Here you can find that the letters of the particular word have become separate. And now you can click and drag your mouse to move the characters of the particular word. The easiest option to edit this particular text is by using the text tool. After selecting the text tool, click inside the text box. Now you can easily edit this particular text. After editing this text, select the selection tool to come out of the text tool. Now these individual letters cannot be edited. That is you won't be able to apply brush tool nor will you be able to apply gradient. Now if you want to apply brush tool or any other tools which could not be applied normally on the text, select all the letters, click on modify and then click again on the break apart option. This would further break down individual letters of the text. Now if you click on the letters, you can find that the letter as a whole is getting selected. Here if you notice you can find that you will be able to partially select the letters. Similarly you will be able to apply gradient. This is how you convert text to a shape and you'll be able to apply the options that was available for the shapes on this text. Now if you want to partially fill color to the text, select a portion of the text and then click on the fill color and choose another color from here. Here you can find that the selected region have got a separate color. Now let's try applying stroke for this text. For that, select the whole text click on the stroke color choose a color from here and then choose ink bottle tool and click on the image now select the zoom tool and zoom into the letters after that select again the ink bottle tool and click on the characters here you can find that the stroke color yellow have got applied on the selected letters now since this text have got converted into a shape you won't be able to apply the text options on this particular shape 